hey 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 you guys i am back with another video and today's topic we are talking about feminine hygiene routine plus my tips and tricks to help you smell amazing all day every day all day every day so if that is something that interests you make sure you grab your note pen your look no pen <laughs> make sure you grab your note and notepad and your pen so that you can jot these notes down listen i am latersa and i do videos every week so make sure you subscribe if you think this information will interest you and at the same time make sure you turn on your bell notification so you won't miss an episode now let's get into this y'all know i always share my practices my hygiene tips and all that good stuff and the number one tip that i can highly suggest that you incorporate into your daily routine is drinking water you guys this is something that i've i've always drink water and all that but i've started doing it first thing when i wake up in the morning brush my teeth i grab me my sonic or chick-fil-a cup and fill it up with ice and fill it up with water and i drink it You want to drink as much water as possible. I'm telling you, first thing in the morning is the best time to get up and drink at least a glass full of water because it helps flush out the toxins. It helps get all that overnight gunk or whatever that's been there overnight. Because when you sleep, you know, your body is transporting um, things or whatever. And so when you wake up and you use the bathroom, that's the great time for you to drink water. I try to drink water throughout the day. Sometimes I want my wine. Sometimes I want my juice. But overall, I try to make sure I drink at least three to four of them a day. Now, is that good? I think so, especially when, um, especially if you're a type of person that don't like to drink water. And then too, if you're trying to get in the habit of drinking water, throw some fruits in there. Throw some lemon. Lemon water is good for you guys. I used to do this all the time, but a lot of times I can't keep lemon in the house because I use it for so many things when I'm cooking. So I I try to put like, I keep frozen fruits in the house. As y'all can see here in my refrigerator, it's full of frozen fruits, smoothies, anything like that. Anything that I can get my hands on to try to make sure I'm putting good stuff in my body, that will help you to... I guess fall in love with drinking water. So drink lots of water as much as you can. It's good for your skin. It's good for your overall body. And if you really want to keep your pH balance on point, drinking as much water as you can and kind of eliminating some of the dark wines, you know, some of the sodas. I'm not telling you you can't have your, your guilty pleasures because listen, I have mine. But I'm saying overall, just balance it out when you are consuming your drinks and beverages and all of that good stuff. So and the next one, this one, it may be a little controversy. Y'all know I always say, make sure you don't keep your panties stained by wearing panty lines. But what I'm finding out, the older I get in talking to my gynecologist, wearing panty liners can, can actually do a little bit more damage than not wearing it. Because when you're wearing panty lines, it's almost like you're suffocating down there. I know you have to wear your pads and all that good stuff on that time of the month. But wearing a panty liner every day is just not, not recommended. And I got this from my gynecologist. But if you want to wear it, I would suggest like a thin one because we all have discharge and you know your body, ladies. You know how heavy your discharge is on them days where you think it's heavy than most. Wear your panty liner to make you feel secure because I know I do. But on them days where I'm just light and nothing's going on, I'm not wearing a panty liner because I want her to breathe down there. And then too, you have to make sure that um, you are doing what's best for you. I'm giving you my tips that works for me, but let me just throw that disclaimer out there because I don't want any of you saying, well, Latursa said you gotta do it this. No, you don't have to do any of this. These are just my tips, my suggestions, but wear uh, panty liners as less as possible only when necessary. My fourth feminine hygiene tips for my feminine hygiene routine is shower at least twice a day, you guys. I'm telling you, shower is one of the most fun parts of my day because that is kind of like, 
my me time, my time where I take my time and wash my body good. That is my time where I go in and just really, truly just be one with myself. You know, just making sure it excites me when I'm cleaning my body and I know it's clean properly and I smell good. It boosts your confidence a little bit higher when you know that your body is clean. I don't know about you guys, but a shower to me is like... I don't know. It's kind of almost like eating ice. And y'all know I love eating ice. It's like a a joy of mine to really know at this age of my life that I truly have a routine down that really works for me and keep me smelling fresh and all that good stuff. So shower at least twice a day, one in the morning, one in the night, and take your time. Sometimes you may have to get up a little minutes earlier, especially if you're nine to five like I am, get up a little bit early so you can take your time and you don't have to feel like you're rushing. I would suggest get up 30 minutes to an hour earlier than what you normally would so you can have that time to yourself. This is time where I pray. Y'all know I get up with the chickens anyway. I get up real early, but I go to bed with the chickens. So I get up most days at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. And during that time, I usually pray, meditate, get my day started. You know, when you just waking up and you still kind of in the sleep, but you're not in the sleep, that's when I feed my mind how I want my day to go. And then once I'm done with that, I get up and shower after my baby girl is done because I get up pretty early too because she is slow as molasses in the bathroom. Um, but I give her time to do her little stuff and then I get in there and shower. And then from there, six o'clock, I get my son up. So take two showers a day, one in the morning and one at night. And the reason why I say two showers because when you're out and about, taking care of business at, and you know, if you got kids, they at school, you know, you at work out and about those germs are on you. You don't want to bring those germs into your bed. You don't want to do that. You don't even want to bring them into your house. So what I do is when I first come home, well, I work from home, but when I, if I'm out and about running errands, I come home and I take those clothes off and put them in the, either the washer or I put them in a dirty clothes hamper and then take me a shower and get fresh. That way I can walk around my house fresh, free of germs, and all that good stuff. And then to the next tip is exfoliating, you guys. The fifth tip is exfoliate at least twice, two to three times a week. You want to make sure you're getting in that dead skin off and exfoliating under your arms and in between your thighs and your heels, your elbows, that is going to help you keep that baby soft skin. When you can get that shed, that dead skin off, that's going to help that lotion or your gels um, stick to your skin and make you glow. You see what I'm saying? So you want to make sure at the end of the day, you are exfoliating. I'm not saying go crazy with the exfoliation. And if y'all watch my um, previous shower routine, y'all know I was talking about in the, in the wintertime, I like to use more soft exfoliation. Got a little beads in it, you can feel it. But because your skin gets super, super dry in the winter months, you want to... You don't want to be as harsh as you would if you was exfoliating in the summer. See, in the summer, I like my tree husk scrubs because they, you know, they write. But in the wintertime, what I'm learning is I like to have softer scrubs in the wintertime because my skin is already going through some changes and it's, you know, a little sensitive and it, it'd be dry a lot. So I like to go in with um, softer exfoliation. So that's tend to be really helpful when it comes down to just making sure you exfoliate it. You want your skin to be baby soft. Exfoliation is one of the key to that. And then my next tip on feminine hygiene routine plus my um, hacks and tips is um, detoxing your armpits. I always say the winter time is the best time to detox your armpits if you're thinking from switching from regular deodorant to natural deodorant. Because listen, let's just face it, natural deodorant you have to find one that works with your body chemistry. Not every natural deodorant is going to work. You're going to go through about 50 million natural deodorants because I'm telling you, if you've been following me for a while, I have been through, I think, every natural deodorant on the market. And to this day, hands down, I still say Native is my go-to, my number one. That's what I have in my home. I have tons of natural deodorants that I've tried that just left me musty. And that's where 
detoxing your armpits like certain days when you know you're not going nowhere go back and check my video i'm gonna leave it in the cards up here for you guys of how i um detox my armpits and how i clean my armpits on a daily basis because if you don't detox your underarms from that regular aluminum deodorant that natural deodorant is definitely not going to work because again you've been using aluminum deodorant for years some of us been using it since childhood and we're now you know way over in adulthood so it's going to take you just like you have to detox your body when you get ready to um try a new diet or try a new whatever you got to detox you know so it's the same way with your armpits you got to detox your armpits first and then allow your armpits to breathe and relax a little bit before you start your natural deodorant journey because i'm telling you it's going to be some days when you're going to be musty that's why i say the winter time is the perfect time to switch over because it's cold outside and then too you got time to to test stuff out because in the summertime I wouldn't recommend starting your natural deodorant journey in the summertime because, girl, it is hot as hell. And, boy, you don't want to be out in the summer months in the heat <laughs> trying some natural deodorant on because you can get musty. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you, I'm giving you a FYI. This is the perfect time to start your journey with natural deodorant because I'm telling you, for the longest, for years, I didn't understand that I would put on natural deodorant and about two hours later, I'd be musty. I'm like, what the hell? Like, it smell good going on, but then about two hours, you get that weird scent. Like, I don't know what kind of scent you call them. Then you start smelling like onions. I'm like, well, damn. I, I might as well go back to my aluminum deodorant because I ain't going around musty. So, hear me when I say, you got to give yourself time to detox. And detoxing your armpits is going to help you really maneuver through your journey of going and switching to natural deodorant. And my next feminine hygiene hack is add milk bath to your routine once a month i tell you guys and i did a video on what i do when i take my milk bath and how i keep my skin soft um throughout the year and especially in the summer and winter months i love taking me a good luxurious milk bath i've been doing it since my kids were toddlers and it truly does keep your skin really soft so incorporate that into your routine not routine <laughs> You guys I can't talk over here, but incorporate that into your routine at least once a month. I'm telling you, a milk bath will change your whole, it'll change the game for you, honey. Take your girl word, word for it. It will change the game for you. So just go back. I'm going to leave it in the cards for you guys, but go back and check out my milk, uh, my honey and milk bath. I'm telling you, it's going to change the game for you guys. And then my next tip is stay away from douches i know if you grew up old school you know your your mother your grandmother used to say douche and all that well my grandmother didn't but i know my mom taught me about douche when i was young but douching is not good for you it's not good if you really want to throw off your ph balance douching is going to do that and y'all know my little story when i told y'all when i was in college i thought i was doing <laughs> something good i was trying to hurry up and get out of my periods because i was going to see my boo and i didn't want to be on my periods going to see him and all that good stuff so i was like let me just do it and then to get all the stuff out in there and everything and i'll be off girl the stuff you think about when you young girl i'd be some crazy stuff but no ladies douching is not good now if you douche that's that's your preference if that's what you choose to do but for me i highly recommend you leave the douching leave that alone and then the next feminine hygiene tip that i will share with you guys is try to wear more cotton panties than silk yes i know silk is cute and they cute and they make us feel sexy and we be like yeah we gotta be right for boo and we want him to do all this and all that but i'm telling you that that's them silk panties will have you irritated as hell down there i'm telling you i used to wear silk thongs just think about that for a minute a thong is already up in the crevices and that's just nasty right there so just think if you're wearing that every day, all day, you're going to have to throw them suckers in the trash. And then it's like you're not getting any heat because silk doesn't let you breathe. That I, I guess that's why I differ from a lot of women. I don't like silk bed sheets. I never have. I got some silk bed sheets 
for a graduation gift out of high school from one of my, my bougie cousins. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be cute sleeping on. Girl, I be twisting and turning and oh no. So I, I'm, I'm over the years, I've just eliminated as less as possible um, uh, silk panties. Now I will wear them from time to time, you know, when I wanna be sexy and cute and all that good stuff. But on a daily basis, I ain't got no granny panties, but I do got me some cotton high-waisted or, um, you know, bikini style. You know, you can get some cute cotton panties, but I'm telling you, them doggone silk panties will have you mad at yourself and mad at your girl. Because when your girl downstairs is not happy, you ain't going to be happy either. So, yeah. And then, too, the reason why you want to stay away from silk panties, like I said, it set up room for yeast infection because silk is really soft. And if that's rubbing against you all day, you gonna sweat down there. You sweat anyway. And so it's just not a good combination. Yeast infections is at a high rise. Infections, all that kind of stuff. It's just stuff you just don't want to deal with, you know. So leave your silk panties for those occasions, ladies. And we all grown here. You know what occasions I'm talking about. But not every day. Then the next thing you want to make sure you're doing is when you want to make sure your clothes, you're washing your clothes properly. I have several videos on my channel um, about how to keep your clothes fresh and all that good stuff. Leave me a comment if you guys want me to do an in detail depth on how I sort my clothes, how I, um, from start to finish, leave me a comment and let me know if you want me to do a video like that. Because if your clothes is not clean, you could be clean all day, but if your clothes are funky, they're on your body, so you're gonna be funky as well. You go to hug somebody and that whiff come from under your arms. That's why I always tell you guys, turn your shirts on the wrong inside out because I guarantee you it's gonna be a deodorant stain. And if it's a deodorant stain and you're just washing your shirt regularly, it's not going to get in there to clean it. That's why I always say I'm, I'm going to keep preaching it till I'm blue, green, black in the face. That vinegar and baking soda is going to draw those stains, the odor and stains out of your armpit. And if your shirt is just old, old, sometimes you just got to get rid of some stuff because holding on to clothes and you've worn them for years, sometimes that deodorant stain doesn't come out. And you just need to start fresh, start off. I tell you guys, I look at my t-shirts, my kids' t-shirts, shirts and stuff. After after so long, if they just start looking crazy like, I just throw them away and start over. I don't even try to do all that. But when you clean your clothes properly and use, you know, fabric sauce good and all that good stuff, when your clothes is clean and your body is clean, guess what? You're going to smell good. You're going to smell amazing. You're going to smell good. That's, that's what you want. <laughs> and then my last and final feminine hack tips and tricks for you guys today is add as much veggies and fruits to your diet every day. I don't care if you eat a banana. I don't care if you if you um, drink a smoothie. Y'all know I'm a smoothie girl. I love my smoothies over here. Actually, I have one this morning. I didn't make this one, but this is from Target. Um, it's called the Chabana Mango. Really, really good, you guys. Y'all know I always be putting y'all on, but I love smoothies. And when, I'm not, when I don't have smoothies, I try to eat like um, greens, veggies, salads, something like that. You wanna incorporate veggies and fruits in your diet as much as possible. And I did a video on the 10 top superfoods to eat to help you smell good. So I'm gonna leave all that in the cart for you guys. But listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, it's, the giveaway is still going on, you guys. It's very simple, you guys. It's on my Instagram page. Um, the winner will be announced um, after the 15th. The, fi the 15th, it ends at midnight on the 15th. Um, you can win to enter to win a chance to win um, the Bare Vanilla uh, Gel and Lotion Set, um, a wall plug-in, and I think it's a candle. So listen, y'all know I always try to give you guys my favorite smell goods. So just my appreciation. Thank you guys. We finally got to 300 followers on Instagram because girl, y'all know you girl. <laughs> Trying to keep up with YouTube and Instagram and then TikTok, girl, girl, I don't know how people do it. Because when you got a nine to five and you're doing all this stuff, it's just, it's a lot. But like I said, I love you guys and I want you guys to have the absolute best for me. And let me know how you like my latest videos because I have a new ring light, you guys. I wanted to step it up a little bit for you guys. So 
I love you guys. Remember to follow me on Instagram and leave me some of your um, feminine hygiene tips below so the other community uh, members can learn. I want this community to be all about us helping each other grow, learn. I want this to be a positive environment. We are no, we are no judgment zone here. We don't judge anybody. We're all on this journey together. So God bless. I love you guys. Remember, you are absolutely enough and everything you need it's already on the inside of you. So God bless and I'll see you soon. Bye.